know from past studies that how important pathology is for breast cancer. It's not just one disease. There's lots of different types of breast cancer, but we're still trying to really understand what that different types look like. And so to really get to utilize machine learning tools to help us accelerate our understanding of the underlying patterns within the breast tissue has been really efficient. We're able to look at 1,700 cases with tissue samples, apply that to over 20 years of data, and we were able to really do it in three months' time, which would probably would have taken years for a team of pathologists to do. Yeah, and those images are you know, five to 10 gigs a piece, right? So if you multiply that out by 1,700, it's, it's massive. Yep. And we apply multiple layers of algorithms to basically do this unsupervised clustering. So we say, hey, machine, can you go group all of these tiles that we have in a way that makes sense to you? And the great thing is, is that some of those clusters were actually things that we would expect it to find. Um, and then some of the clusters were things that we can't describe at all because that's the benefit of the unsupervised approach. And so when we were considering cloud options, I think the Google's commitment to privacy and uh, being compliant with HIPAA and other federal regulations was key to the selection. One of the things that I love about this project is it provides an example of how the American Cancer Society can partner with socially conscious corporations like Slalom and Google and work together to make cancer research advances. All of us have been impacted by cancer in some way. And so being able to even put a tiny little dent in that is, is just awesome.